What's going on, everyone? Kevin Durant going to the Philadelphia 76ers is a destination in which Kevin Durant would be willing to go to, right? Kevin Durant recently, based on reports, said that he'd be willing to go to the Sixers or the Celtics, both teams trying desperately to try to acquire Kevin Durant. Now, I do believe it's Boston or bust. I don't think Philadelphia has the assets uh, to go get a Kevin Durant, especially with the high demand the Nets have. And I do think anything the Sixers can offer the Celtics can offer just as much, but better. I think Jalen Brown is better than Maxi and Thibault and guys like that. I just think that, you know, if you're the Nets, you go get Jalen Brown over what the Sixers are offering. However, if the Sixers were able to get a Kevin Durant, I think that would put them on another level. I mean, Joel Embiid, Kevin Durant, and James Harden would be uh, an incredible trio. I mean, that would be, in my opinion, better than Kevin Durant, James Harden, and Kyrie Irving. Seriously, I think that that would be because Joel Embiid offers you something that Kyrie, Kevin Durant, and and James Harden do not offer you, and that's the size, the shot blocking, the creativity, being the best, arguably the best center in the league. Uh, you know, many people probably think he is. I, I can see the argument for like guys like Joker, but nonetheless. Joel Embiid is an absolute stud, and if you could get Kevin Durant paired with him, that is a title contender. You add James Harden, that is just another level of title contention. And Kevin Durant would be would allow James Harden to have what he's never had, and that's that go-to closer that could win the games and take over games, and that's so James Harden doesn't have to be that guy. Big problem with James Harden is he's always lacked the ability to take over games in the playoffs. And he's always not shown up. And the last playoff series that Philly just played didn't really help James Harden's case of I can't show up. Um, but nonetheless, what would a trade look like for Kevin Durant? Well, there is this uh, reported trade, which is, uh, again, we don't know for sure, but this is based on the negotiations that they had, or at least what Philly has presented. And Brooklyn would receive Tyrese Maxey, Tobias Harris, uh, Mytis Thibel, 2027 protected first round pick, 2029 first round pick. Now, I think the, the protected 2027 is just like for negotiation purposes, uh, but Philly would receive Kevin Durant. Again, breaking this down, this is the exact trade that I threw out the other day when I made this video as I was like, the only way I see it getting done would be Maxey, Thibel, and Tobias Harris for salary purposes, and then they give up, you know, a couple first round, a couple first round picks. Uh, maybe they throw in some pick swaps, but this is the the only reason I threw that trade out there is because that's the only trade that they could present. That is the only deal they can have. So to see this, you know, sort of mock trade that they that they presented, like it doesn't. I don't see anything else. Like there's not like what else are they going to be able to add? What else are they going to be able to throw out there? I don't think. The, the Philly has enough. I don't think this is enough to get Kevin Durant. Not over, you know, a Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart, and two firsts. I would take that over this night in and night out. Um, although, you know, maybe you could flip Tobias Harris elsewhere or Thibel if you don't really want Thibel. Maxi is a guy that could be be a, a, a potential all-star in this league, a guy that could, you know, maybe really grow. But we've seen guys very young, have a great season, and it just, they hit that sophomore junior wall, and it's a completely different story. Again, I just, I don't see this working out for Philly, but you never know. I mean, Kevin Durant in a Philly jersey would be fantastic for the city of Philadelphia. Philadelphia would be a scary team. I mean, scary. Uh, injuries are definitely a concern, right? Kevin Durant's only played 90 games in the last three years uh, for the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, Joel Embiid has had an injury history. James Harden, he's kind of had an injury history as of late. It was a little overweight. There's concerns and questions there. Um, but if, for whatever reason, the Nets would do that deal and they would take Thibel, Maxi, uh, Tobias Harris, and two first-round picks, I, I, if you're Philly, then yeah, you're absolutely doing that deal. I just don't see that being enough, especially with the demand and the ask that the Brooklyn Nets have continuously put out there and continuously thrown out there, I don't see them changing, you know, and saying, okay, well, we'll take that deal. And now, if this is the only deal on the table, maybe. Um, but, you know, at that point, like, if you're the Nets, are you better off just waiting? Because the Suns would be eligible to trade for Kevin Durant 
in like January. So do you just keep Kevin Durant, even if he wants to sit out, let him sit out and see what the Phoenix Suns are willing to offer? You know, and, and Aiton, Bridges, and Cam Johnson plus two picks is way better than the Philly deal. You know, I, I just think you have more versatility, you have more skill. You, you can't teach seven feet, uh, especially with the fundamentals that Aiton has. I, I don't know. I just I just don't know how Philly gets there. I don't think it's uh, I think it's a good trade for you know like if you could get like a mid tier guy, um, I think that that would be a good trade. But for a guy of the caliber of Kevin Durant, I just don't see that. Like I think this trade would be good for like a like say like a Devin Booker deal. Not saying Devin Booker is going to get traded or anything like that. I'm just using him as an example. A guy that's really good, that's an all star, but he's not like you know, top five, top 10 in the league. You know, a guy that like is good enough to where like he could turn around your team, but he's not so great. Like he makes you an instant contender. Um, so I do, I don't think that this would get you Kevin Durant. Um, but I do think it's an interesting trade. I, I understand why Philly would throw it out there, especially with, uh, you know, Daryl Morey. He's a guy who doesn't care about assets, doesn't care about picks. He, does, he, he is an analytic, get the surefire guy. He's about the stars. He's about the analytics. Like, you know, the, the probability of the next 10 to 15 picks we have will never amount to a guy like Kevin Durant. That's how he looks at things. Ken, if I can get Kevin Durant, I don't care about those picks. I will do whatever it takes to get Kevin Durant. If I have to do pick swaps... I have to add whatever. I mean, pick swaps kind of just become irrelevant, but you never know. You know, if you're a team like the Nets, you add the pick swaps just in case. You know, say, you know, say MB goes down, say Kevin Durant goes down, and it's just James Harden. James Harden and, uh, you know, a shell of a bunch of guys don't really make a playoff team. You know, so now maybe they miss the playoffs and you get a lottery pick because you never know what's going to happen. You never know what the future is going to hold. You never know what it might bring. So if you are the Nets, you're definitely asking probably for some pick swaps. Uh, that 2027 pick is going to be uh, unprotected. Again, I think that that's just offered as like a, you know, negotiation tactic. Like, no, this isn't enough. Okay, well, what if we make the 2027 pick unprotected? Like, it's it's a silly tactic. You know, it's not going to work, but you do that just because. You know, you do that because what if they do take the deal? What if they're not paying attention and they're like, okay, yeah, that's fair. Let's do that. Um, again, if you can get Kevin Durant, you go get Kevin Durant. I just don't see Kevin Durant being in a Philly jersey. I just don't. I just don't think they have it. I don't think they have enough. Um, I do think Brooklyn trades Kevin Durant. I think it's a matter of when, not if. I think it's just ultimately a matter of time. Uh, you know, they have played hardball with Kevin Durant. And I know that they don't really want to trade him, but if Kevin Durant doesn't show up to training camp and, and stuff like that, um, you know, I, I mean, if teams get, like, let's say Kevin Durant doesn't play or say he pulls a Vince Carter, um, I do believe every team in the league would still trade for Kevin Durant, but who knows? Maybe teams don't. And maybe if you're Philly, you throw that out there, you be patient. Maybe teams, like, maybe that's the best deal on the table, you know, because if Kevin Durant doesn't show up to training camp, doesn't play, or he pulls a Vince Carter and just completely sabotages, and they lose all their leverage. Maybe teams like Boston are no longer offering Jalen Brown. You know, maybe they're not. You know, maybe the Suns aren't offering Aiton and Bridges anymore. You know, maybe maybe the asking price has just gone down so much because they have no leverage anymore, and no teams are willing to give up a lot. And the Sixers come in and are like, "Hey, look, everybody is basically giving you a bag of peanuts." I'm willing to give you the same deal we offered you, you know, several months ago. Because Daryl Morey's that guy. Daryl Morey, if he he doesn't care. Like Maxie could end up being the next Michael Jordan. He's not the next Michael Jordan right now. You know, and that's just who Daryl Morey is. Who can I get right now that can help me win right now? I'll worry about, you know, five years from now, five years from now. I'm not gonna worry about what is my team gonna look like in 2029 when you know we're still seven years away from that. You know, who knows what happens? Who knows where our team is at then? So he's a guy that is about the moment. Let's do what we got to do in the moment. Let's go get the guy we need to get in the moment. Let's let's put together the team that can win us a championship now in the moment. And so I, I think Daryl Morey will give up whatever he has to give up as long as it's not Embiid or James Harden. Um, but 
you know, I, I just I don't see them getting there. I just think Brooklyn, they 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 can't tank. They're a team that is very specific and in a very unique situation. So I just don't think Maxi, Thibel, and Tobias Harris get you to where they need to be right now and the foreseeable future. Even if Maxi does one day turn out to be an absolute stud, Brooklyn just they don't have picks to be patient and wait. You know, if they were a team that could just kind of tank, then maybe that deal becomes a lot more enticing. You know, because they're like, hey, Maxi's really young, Thibault's really young, we can kind of build our team around them, and we got this young core, we got all our draft picks, you know, we you know, we hit the lottery a couple times, not a big deal. We only need to hit one or two players. Maybe we can even kind of take that stuff and maybe go get another star to put around these guys, but they're not in that position, unfortunately. They, they All their picks are unprotected to the Houston Rockets, so they are in a terrible position position right now but I do think Kevin Durant gets traded and I still believe it's Boston or bust but those are my thoughts and opinions and as always I pass the question on to you let me know yours down in the comment section below what do you think about this uh, proposed trade do you think Philly has a chance at all whatsoever to go get uh, Kevin Durant or are you kind of like me where it's just like yeah unfortunately they don't have enough um, however you feel about it I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions uh, down in the comment section below that being said, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow by the bell notification. Stay up to date with all things sports. Join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.